Good evening. Let's continue our simple introductory type basics. Okay. So basics are we are under a lot of energy pressure. Okay. Uh, give me a side, a side here for a moment. Uh, an article by a uh, doctor. Uh, of st a stress scientist doctor. <clears throat> anxiety is helpful, panic is damaging. It's not anxiety is helpful, it's the energies that are on the move and our word for those energies on the move is I'm anxious. But before I'm anxious, there's energies on the move that are really quite helpful, okay? So let's deal with energies on the move. First, we settle. You all got a, a chair? Easy. And we sit and we settle. Okay. Now, depending how much energies are on the move, how easy it is to sit and settle will vary from day to day. Some days, it's like, oh, thank God I get to settle. So the energies are kind of calling you back down home. Other days they're on the move and you try to settle and you get anxious about settling because you have to run into all these energies that are coming up, if you would, through you. So hard to sit when the forces are going that away. Hard to launch your boat into an oncoming wave. Okay? So part of the tricks is learning to pause a moment a sense of opening, a sense, not an idea of opening, a sense of opening. And you have a little more room to sit and settle. Okay, are we okay with that? That there are different days, different amounts of upward flowing through your system energy. Don't try to sit down when they're really pushing. Don't launch your boat into an oncoming wave. It's ridiculous. You pause, you open a bit, and there's a moment where you can sit and and settle. Okay? So again with the boat, uh, not against the incoming wave, but after that wave there's a pause, there's an opening there where you can move the boat out. Similar here. Okay. energies. We're in an energy creation. Everything is energies, but we're so kind of thick here, we don't notice sometimes the energies. Or we notice them and we give them a bad name, anxiety, stage fright, uh, on and on. You see, they're really trying to from a better level of us, a better dimension, they're trying to mix up a better, fuller you. Okay, let's play with that part of it. Easy, settle, open. There are energies milling about, let's say, mixing. And in this case, they're trying to mix up a better person who stands. Ah. <sighs> At the moment, for example, I feel a little more settled. Ah, I notice the breathing has quieted down a bit. Ah, I just feel a little bit more okay here. So again, easy, settle, open. The energies are trying to mix up a better system you. Easy, settle, open. Energies are milling about, mixing, and in this case, they're mixing up you as a person who stands. Ah. I happen to note I feel a little taller, a little straighter. Easy, feeling, feeling, anything else? A, a little more, my feet are on the ground, so a little more grounded. Ah. So the energies have mixed up a person who's a little straighter, taller, who is a little more grounded. Ah, 
I feel a little fuller here, a little more secondary capable. I feel a little more capable. Uh, I feel a little support from my back, like I'm not alone out here. I have a little back, a little back support, for example. And sit and settle. And how are, are we going to take questions? How are we going to take questions? Um, maybe we could ask people to submit them in writing if they have, if they can. That's and, fine. Uh, if, if anybody wants to shout out a question to, for Sensei, just uh, speak up. Okay. Nothing so far. Nothing so far, Sensei. Uh, okay. Uh, one comment, though, to everybody. Uh, uh, as Kenny just wrote on a chat, uh, please feel welcome to move around with Sensei. Uh, Aikido is still movement, even though we're off by ourselves. Ooh. Shoulders are more relaxed, like a weight was lifted, said Chip. Look. Okay. Okay, Sensei, you're 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 on. Thank please you. Please continue. Okay. Ah, uh, the energies are from the next level of you and how I've told you in the past, how I denote that is there's, uh, well, real tight, a weird Bobby, he's dangerous, he's weird. Bobby, a little more, a little better, Robert, a little better, Nado, thank you. A little much, much better, on a, on a good day, Sensei, okay? So these energies are different levels and will mix up a better level of you. Okay. Settling, opening. Energies are mixing up. In this case, our job is to stand. I hope you all have a chair out there and you're not leaning back in your couch, but anyway. Easy, open. The energies are mixing up to mix up a person that stands better, fuller, prettier, stronger, whatever. You check, you feel. Okay. Ah, settling. Opening. Easy. Now, we have to aside here for a moment. There's two pieces, I wonder. Uh, okay, maybe a quick drawing. Here, let's see. I'm still on tape? Yes. No problem. We're listening. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. Now, we almost have to break this up into two pieces. So, big piece of one. Okay. Two. Let's put them. Well, let's put them here. Okay. We have this aware of this mind aspect. And here we have more the experiential aspect. Okay, so rough, but a one simple way of looking at it. The tendency when the energies come through is for some people to come through more and more and become more in their head. I can't use the word mindful because you use that in a uh, different form these days, a uh, too heady, uh, too much out there in that I, I, I. So we must take this into consideration as we practice and play, ooh, back to the chair, that, ha, ah, settling, opening, energies are mixing up, a person that stands mm. fuller. Now watch out, because the energies may continue out into an idea about it, or you're trying to be aware of if anything changed. Don't go out there. Don't go into that green. Hang out here in body, feeling the experience of body, the experience of body, not your idea out here of body. So not coming around, turning to look at yourself. That's awareness of. Awareness of is kind of a killer. Okay. In our 
creation. We have too much awareness of, we lost the other half of things, which is the experience of. Okay. I'm getting somebody talking. I was trying to be interactive. Uh, whoever it is, speak up. Say what? Sensei, I Hello? thought somebody had a question, yeah. but they, they're okay. either muted or we can't quite hear. So please continue, Sensei. Okay, so where are we? Ah, settling with a sense of opening. Uh, this first tighter me, this weird bo or Bobby, weird Bobby and Bobby, uh, he's got to be easy for a moment. Easy, Bobby. Easy. And that's what I mean by a sense of settling, opening. Easy. Easy. Be a little more open. Easy. So the energies can flow through fuller and better, mixing up boom, this guy, this guy. Then you hang out with yourself with a sense of feeling yourself. Breathe yourself, feel yourself, move yourself. Let the body move, experience. Different than thinking about, being aware of the body. Please try not to go there. Okay? Are we okay so far? I... <laughs> Any questions for Sensei? I'm feeling more center, Sensei, as we as we go through the standing. I'm feeling more centered, and center is starting to appear. Should I? And could you please identify yourself? Okay. This is Tom. Uh, Tom, hey, where Tom. are you physically, Tom? <laughs> in my living room. <laughs> in Petaluma. Yes. In the center of his body. I'm in the center. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so center. Uh, hey. As the body balances out more, center is a reference of a fuller body. Right. So Tom is, as he settles, opens, and gets more balanced, gets more balanced. The center in his case wants to show better center, better balance, better functioning. Easy, settle open. There is a better center. Better center, fuller balance, better functioning. Okay, so center is just another reference point. Better body, better center. Better center, better body. So when you play with any kind of open fullness or balance, a uh, center might show for some people. I myself personally loved playing with center. When I first bumped into center, I just thought it was great. I would just play with being centered hour after hour, <laughs> many times during the day, just be centered, be centered. Do a technique. Now check your center, be more centered. From that center, do that same technique again. Notice there's a difference. Uh, so center is a good reference. We can continue at center for, it goes the distance, okay? So this center can be universal in scope after a bit. I think the Chinese refer to center in a universal sense, I believe. Ah. Talk about the appreciation of center. Again, careful of I over here, like center. I'm aware of center. The center itself can uh, experience itself. Center itself, easy. And center itself appreciates itself. Itself appreciates. So I don't come out here and say, oh, that's a nice center over there. It's, it's personal. It's experienced, okay? It's experience itself experience. As it experiences itself, it shows more of itself. And then if you're to check the body around that, you'll notice it glows more, it's more alive, more vibrant, whatever. 
so uh, yeah, careful of appreciate from out there. Don't go into awareness of. Okay, uh, stay with its own experience. In this case, we're talking center, so it's experiencing itself. Okay, so far. Hi, hi, Sensei. This is uh, Tija here. Great, great to, to there. yeah, great to see you and and to hear this. What I'm hearing in your sense of appreciation that is not just an awareness that what you're saying is that there's a direct way of knowing, a direct connection to knowing that is not uh, kind of filtered through mind, not filtered through what you were referencing as awareness. Yeah. How, does that, how does that set with you? Yeah, I, I like that sense of it. Because uh, as soon as I'm aware, you have a reflection of the main thing. It's sort of not the main thing, it's a reflection of it. And that can start to throw you off. Whereas the thing itself, experiencing itself, uh, speaks truly about itself. A reflection, you can start to get distorted. Yeah, I really hear that. And um, I think there are various ways of, of noting this that we have in Aikido, but also Sometimes in uh, athletics, it's called the zone. <laughs> and the, the zone is that way of the direct knowing when you're just moving out of embodiment, you're moving out of that direct knowing. Yeah. Uh, if Wada were here, we'd be talking basketball, okay? The zone. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I don't want to get into basketball, but if I'm aware that I'm ready to throw, I, I it may throw off the actual experience of being centered, ready to get that ball in that basket. Uh, there, there's a difference, okay? In training, we find as you experience something and you do a few techniques, same technique, and you do some over and over and over and over, a lot of people start to drift out of the experience and start to drift into the awareness of it at which time you'll see them physically get worse. And if they catch it, they don't know why they got worse. Well, because they shifted out of the actual experience and are shifting into the awareness. They're, they're thinking, oh, I got it now. Now I understand. And it's like, in a certain way, don't go there. Stay with the experience. You, you'll always be able to click back in and understand as an experience, not going into understanding. That's not the game. Okay? Uh, the Japanese in Japan in the early days would always complain about the Westerners, the foreigners. They'd say, why do they ask so many questions? Because the foreigners, the Westerners wanted to understand Japanese would say, why don't they just train and experience, okay? Why don't they just experience this? But the Westerner had a tendency to want to understand it as if, if I understand it, then I got it and I can do it. But oftentimes they could be very intelligent and talk a lot, but they really couldn't do it. Not really. Pedagogic. Okay, are we okay so far? Where are we? Uh, Sensei, this is Lauren. Uh, yes, sir. And uh, uh, could you talk a little bit about the connection between uh, center and base? Okay. Center, center, base. The better the center, the better. The, everything works in tandem with every, everything. The whole system is in relation to itself. Everything's in relation somehow. Uh, now, as you get a better center, think of a, give me that stick. Thank you. He washed his hands, it's okay. Uh, think of this stick as being inside the body, okay? And that'll be my first start with center, although I start it a little shorter. On a bad day, especially, I'm lucky to have a center like that, like that. 
Okay, but that center, as I open, shows that it's more and more, and it'll go deeper and taller, and around that, thank you, and around that center is a better balanced body, and a better balanced body will have a better base. So as the center gets better, the base gets better. If you're playing a combination of base and center, as the base gets better, and you go click, check the center, you'll notice it's better. It feels a little thicker or fuller or more alive or whatever. Okay, so center to the base, base to the center is not a bad team, teamwork. We okay, Lauren? So far, you want to continue with that? Yes, yeah, so right? yeah, uh, uh, how do we deepen our base? How do we? Okay, another subject. Okay, uh, on the standing practice. Now we're going to use base. So you settle. Uh, the energies are gathering, okay? but they're gathering from someplace. So at first we use a base floor. At first, let's use the floor that's there for you. In my case, this rug on a wooden floor. Okay, easy. Feeling my feet on the floor, and from that floor I stand. So the rug floor is my base right now. Okay, easy, settle, feet. Feel the floor, easy. Floor, floor supports the body. Okay. Can you feel that relationship of floor supporting the body? That's different than, oh, I know there's a floor. I see the floor. I can spell floor in three different languages. Is not the feeling of the actual floor, floor body, the actual experience of it. Are we okay so far, Floor? That's a uh, Bob Noah here. Uh, the floor feels alive and it's better able to support me because it's alive. Okay, uh, so Noah says uh, that that floor is already showing as being an energy source, could we say, Bob? That the floor is alive and that aliveness is, is that energy that's starting to circulate through the whole system. Yes. Okay. So everybody, after a bit, Noah may be ahead of us right now, but each floor is, represents another dimension, and the energies from each dimension are finer, they're better. Right. So a better floor, better energy, better body. Oh, see this body's beginning to smile. I'm at a different floor and there's an attitude in, in the energies. It's just there. I'm not trying to smile, it's just happening. I, I feel a little looser. The energies loosen the body. So I don't stay in tight bobby and try to loosen my body. In that case, warm up exercises are so dumb it's beyond belief. I, the tight guy, am going to loosen up. Why bother? I, the tight guy, settle a bit open a bit, you get to a different level, using floor for reference, if you like. And at that level, it mixes through the body and, and you check. Okay, not too bad, but I still hurt. Easy, settle, open. A little better level. Better levels supply a finer energy through the body. Ooh, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all, much looser, doesn't hurt as much. Yes. Okay, so I think we need a diagram. <clears throat> okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, okay, so here we are, this guy. Okay, now, so the first floor, I just use the actual room floor to start with. If that feels okay, if you could actually feel it and its support, or as Bob says, he's already feeling a little energy aliveness from that floor. Yes. 
Now we sense deeper. There's another floor, okay? It's a floor, for lack of words, under this floor, all right? Uh, we'll continue with different levels. Each floor represents a different dimension. And in each dimension, uh, the energies are finer in the different di dimensions. It's just how it works. Uh, we're in a very heavy place in our human condition. As we settle and open, we feel smoother, lighter, and stuff. Energies are finer as we move dimensionally through, okay? And through a lot of different forms, we can get into this, these other dimensions. There are a variety of forms we'll get into. So we have so far uh, center, better the center, better the body, and that the base and the center relate. As the center gets better, the base will get better and support better. So center, base, base, center, good combination. Okay, so let's try for a, a, a second level. <clears throat> All right. Okay, easy. Settle. Okay, so there's my first floor. Double check it, feel the first one, yeah. There it is, yes, it supported me. Okay, now easy and inner sense and inner sense. There's another floor under that one. Just a sense feeling, not a daydream up here. Don't go there. Here, here. There's a floor under this one. And that floor, I don't know. I had a sense it felt wider. What's your sense? Easy. Under this obvious floor is another deeper floor. It definitely has a little darker. Radius. Huh? Definitely yeah. has a radius. There's definitely more space being created. Okay. Yeah, mine feels wider. So yeah. The earth is right under there. Okay, right to the base. Dark and nutritious. Okay, I call that fertile soil. <laughs> See, when I first start, one pattern I use, I might have mentioned it last time, was uh, just basic ground. The next level, I believe, was fertile soil ground. And when I hit that second one, that fertile ground, I could feel also through my system I felt more alive because the soil was more fertile. So I was like a plant. Put this plant in better soil. Katya, what do you call that bag stuff you buy? Grow, grow more, what? Miracle grow. Miracle grow. After the top of the ground, you go down a bit deeper, it's fertile soil, it's miracle grow. And this plant, feels more enriched, more alive, more, has a little more vitality, okay? So yes, fertile soil. Again, there are different ways, different people will perceive these levels, okay? So uh, the one, I think that was Kenny, the one that was mentioned is, yeah, that's a, a good basic. Easy, second floor, it's a bit deeper. It feels, sense feels, it senses thicker, as if it's a stronger support. Uh, has an iron beam kind of feeling, or thicker in that thickness. Boom. I would like a bit of that if I were going to lift weights, <laughs> if I were going to do any kind of deadlift or anything like that. I'd want at least that. Anything less, my back is in jeopardy. But when I have that one, I feel a little more empowered. There are better ones, but that's pretty good to start with. Okay, now, second floor represents a finer dimension. 
That's an inner sensing world. And that inner sensing world produces a finer level of energy that pervades the system, mixes me up as a deadlifter. <laughs> okay. Uh, how are we doing on the second floor? This finer energy sensei is easier to take in. It, it, it feeds my cells. Okay, easier to take in. Okay, yeah. So, <clears throat> system's getting used to opening and intaking. Okay? So, as you hang out, you, you make friends with th these patterns. And it does get easier and faster. Okay? So, uh, that should naturally happen. That's why we practice <laughs> to get to that point. Somebody? Second floor support. The nutrients from the second floor feel like they're feeding or they're feeding into the upper level, into the what's happening above is being fed by what's happening yeah. below. There's an exchange, yeah. a nutrient. Yeah, that's, that's where I came up with the potted plant theory. For those of you who never heard the potted plant theory, I thought it was simple for people to understand. If a plant she took out the plants away. That's okay. We don't need one. Uh, if a plant is in a small pot, after a while, the plant will let you know something's wrong. Okay? And if you got a feeling for plants, you'll go, uh-oh, the pot's too small. And you'll take that poor plot, plant and cut it, repot it in a bigger pot where there's more soil, more energy. In that case, soil is energy to the plant. And you put it in a bigger pot and it revives and it glows a bit and it might grow a bit. Right. Okay. And it, it's and it's pretty fast on how it responds. If a plant is sort of fast responding in a few days, a person is much faster, they can respond in two seconds. All right. Eventually you get very fast because you're very open. So the potted plant theory, easy, open. Settle deeper is better soil, a better dimension of energy. Potted plant theory. Okay, where are we? Cynthia, you have so, a real genius for working with dogs. I used to. At one time. Well, I remember those dogs. Could you talk about how that relates uh, here as far as really? feeling the developmental possibilities that the dogs have and using that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, God, Bob, you're leading me astray here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can say this. If you're too scrunched in, the dog is kind of foreign to you. As you settle and open and get into finer energies, you can you can your energies and their energies can share a little bit and you can kind of feel what they want you can communicate with them uh there's one one example uh i'm not following bob's line right now and i don't want to right now bob okay i'll talk to you on the phone later uh <laughs> somebody Hi. deeper floor better dimension more yeah. <laughs> Finer energy. Okay. Uh, what? Sensei, I had I had this this uh, this feeling that on that second. Uh, you really loud. That um, you you, I had this feeling that I don't actually tap that until I actually begin that, to, that standing to stand. If that makes sense. No, I'm not. It felt like if I sat here and I would, I would wait and wait and wait, but it doesn't come until I actually have to make it to make that move, and then boom, it goes down deeper that second level, okay. and it bounces back up and it helps me stand. So, a trick of the trade for you then is because you're never going to be sure apparently. Yes, yeah. No. Forget about it. You're yeah. never going to be sure. Yeah. So you do your approach. And, and within a, a certain amount of seconds, 
try it out, <laughs> see if it's there. So in your case, instead of waiting till you know, you'll never know. So you yeah. fire one off. That's a trick of the trade. Oftentimes, I'm not sure. I fire one off to see where I, to experience where I'm at. That's a trick of the trade. Good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ah. Okay. So, settling. There are minor barriers between the levels. So, uh, I mentioned that first one when you're trying to settle, but the energies are pushing on you. Uh, there's a minor barrier. Okay. But if you easy of it, easy. That barrier is only paper thin. It's really, it's not a brick wall. So the barriers seemingly, in case you're running into any of them, between first level, second level, third level, fourth level, whatever, whatever, uh, aren't unbreakable. It's much easier than that. Just easy, hang out, and it should start to open. Easy, hang out, and it should start to open. Okay, so if you run into a wall or a, a barrier, don't panic. It's not saying, get out of here, you can't come through. It's saying, settle down a bit more. Be easy here. And it naturally opens. Okay? Uh, if you're not sure, in his earlier case, fire one off just to see if there's any, anything experienced. If not enough, continue your settling, opening, after a bit, fire another one off. See if there's anything to be experienced. Trick in the trade. Okay. Uh, floors. Dimensions. Ooh. Okay. Again, just a constant reminder. As the energies come up. Oop. Ah. As the energies come, come up or through, okay, that there's a possibility of going more I mindful turns to look. It's an awareness. Again, mindful is not a good word because uh, what's that group that uses mindful? The mindful people. I can't hear you. Well, whoever. Yeah, it's the anyway, Buddhists. So. Yeah, the Buddhists. All right, uh, so I won't use the word mindful because uh, some people use it meaning experiential mindful. Anyway, uh, too much I aware. I think aware is kind of our killer word, aware. Figure out the rest. Uh, so careful because more energies can trigger that. Okay, they can spin the head and the, when you're tighter, energies coming up can spin spin your thought pattern and can continue into looking aware, all right? Uh, that should not happen so much as we develop more opening and better levels, okay? But we all always have to keep alert for this awareness thing. It's, it's uh, we're so used to it. It's been here since the dawn of time, all right? And we kind of overdid it. We lost a lot of experience and went heavy into awareness. And it's still a problem. Okay? So, uh, energies triggering, aware. Uh, where are we? Okay. Okay. I forgot where I was going there. But just wanted to keep re reminding you to be careful of that guy because he's a killer. Uh, uh, how much time we got? I, I, we have uh, half an hour. So we have 20 minutes, Sensei. Oof, goes by. And so, and okay. So, uh, what, what, should, what should we play with? And she's coming up through the body. And she's come up through the body. And the eye. Okay, let's, let's play a simple check, okay? Uh, so settling, 
opening, whatever level, say uh, in-house floor, rug level, rug level, body, and for the arm. Stick your arm out. Let the arm come out. Okay. Feel it. Experience the arm. Okay. Could you break an egg? Could you give a decent massage? Could you throw a ball? Just feel what's the, what's the capabilities of that arm. Okay. Now we'll just register that. We'll call it arm one. Okay. Now we stop, we settle. Open. Ah, there's a next level, second underfloor. And you see, from that underfloor, that felt pretty good. Okay, the arm from the, through the body, the arm from the second floor. Right. For example, I feel longer. I feel a little stronger. I was thinking before about crushing an egg. Uh, now, at this level, that feels silly, of course. <laughs> I feel stronger. It feels a little thicker. That's mine. What's yours? Second level arm. Sensei, okay. this is Lauren, and I'll just tell you that uh, between the first arm and the second arm, the first arm came from, extended from my shoulder and the second arm felt more like it was coming from my center. Yeah, uh, that's a kind of a basic. A lesser person will move their arm that way. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but I've seen it. Stick your arm up. Okay, that's a very tight bobby. Second level mixes up better and it comes from a different location. Okay. Third level, even more so. You ready for third level? Double check first. <sighs> Feet on the floor. A sense of deeper. There's a second floor. <sighs> if you're new, you could double check the second floor just to check it. Oh yeah, there it was. I can, I can feel that. Okay. Easy, settle. There's even a deeper floor, easy, easy, yeah, boom. And from that third floor, arm. Yeah, and it feels much longer as if, I kind of know my hand stops there, but I feel this extension past it. I don't know if it's an energy beam, but it's definitely an extension out there. Anything else? A vague sense of smoother. Somebody? Third floor arm. David here, David Kite from Grants Pass. Hey, I'm David. noticing the third floor arm, the second too, but the third floor, first floor needed a structure through which the energy flowed. Third, okay. third floor doesn't need a structure. The, the energy, the energy flowing through the arm is all that's needed. But if we check the whole, a bigger energy sense, don't you have an energy legs, for example? Yes, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is an energy support for an energy arm. Mm -hmm. It's not just an energy arm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a, because of this mix, this energy body has an energy arm. The first yeah. one felt a little like it needed PVC pipe for the flow to go through. This one doesn't need pipe, it's its own pipe. Yeah, it, yeah, it's clear itself, yeah. Ah. Sensei if I'm talking, go, uh, one second. If I'm talking funny, it's because I'm getting an echo back on these things. It's drawing me a bit. But anyway, yes, say what? Oh, this is Tom. It, this energy arm coming from this third level, it, it's not just coming from the shoulder of that arm, it's coming from both shoulders. It feels like, you know, it even feels like the back arms involved. You know, it's all coming through both shoulders, yeah. energy is yeah. on the fingers, I'm feeling it in both arms, actually. Okay. What, what Tom is getting there is, 
when you play one side at a certain level, it'll point out that there's two sides. The balance factor is starting to show more. So if you did one, one, one side, one side, one side, after a while, your system will go, hey, if you're open enough, but say, hey, you have this other side. So you get that when you get that. Okay. So he's starting to get that uh, uh, natural thing happening in his system where at this level, more body balance wants to show or balance period wants to show. Okay. Can I interject for everybody? If please mute your microphone if you're not speaking to reduce the chance of echo. Thank you. I just wanted to add to this is Amy from Oakland. Um, my third level arm felt a little bit more similar to Tom's, but also that it wasn't really it wasn't an arm. It was part of my whole body a little bit. It was just yeah. the beginnings of that. The, the whole system will be part of that, yeah. When you see the lesser people, the weird bobbies of the world, they separate out things. You say arm and, and this thing is separate out there. It's not connected to anything. Oh yeah, an arm, okay. Better level, it's related to things. It's related to things. In my case, on three, the center was god awful strong. Out of the center, arms extend. And Katja saying she had the same thing. Now, center arms extend. Is that a Pilates rah rah you're getting excited about? Yeah, okay. the Pilates queen over there is getting all excited about a center arm extension. Oh. Okay, so, and for the Aikido people, we've washed our hands, so bear with us. Uh, oh, I'm being held. Bobby, easy, fuller. Robert, a little better. Easy, fuller. Nado. <laughs> okay, it's already there. It's already receptive and positive. It's fuller. That's what I try to get you guys to do in the Aikido class, to realize you're at a different level and then practice functioning from that level. Do not shift into awareness. Awareness, uh, okay, okay, center arm. How am I doing? You screwed it all up. You went into awareness. You want some kind of feedback out there. Where the feedback is, stay. Ah. Oh. Oh, here's the feedback in the experience. Okay, so watch out for that going out with that damn awareness. It's a murder, a killer. Sensei, you just addressed a question, uh, and I'll just repeat it. Maybe you want to say a little more. How can you describe how you can quickly shift back into experience from awareness? <laughs> <laughs> I know you just, yeah. you just cover it, but... Now, we touched on it for a moment last week. Uh, okay, a little practice. What I do with shifting from awareness to experience is, uh, for me, it's a percentage game. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's say first basic. I know there's a body. I'm aware there's a body. Okay? That's fine. It's okay to be aware there's a body. Now, I want to shift to this other half, if you would, of the system or partner to that awareness experience. So, I know there's a body. That's awareness. Now, easy shift to here. Click here. Here. Feel. Breathe it. Let it move. Now I'm beginning to feel the body. And at first, I don't care if it feels good or not, that your feeling is the important thing. Feeling is going on. Oh, it's moving, okay? Now I'm aware it's moving. That's okay. Now back here, so the percentage increases to feeling. Oh, 
you know, the body breathes. It has a pulsation beat breathing. Oh, wow. Okay, nice experience, but I'm shifting into awareness about it breathes and beats. That's okay, percentage game. Back to the body, easy body, body experiencing itself. Oh my God, my feet are in the ground supporting me. I feel them, they're, they're like going deeper and they're supporting me. Wow, what a nice experience. Now I'm heading into awareness about that. I'm aware of feet support. Okay. Lesser percentage, more percentage. Feeling, more feeling. Something, okay? Ah. So for me, it's a percentage game. I don't get uptight because I'm aware. It's a natural, unnatural kind of happening. I, I just accept it, but don't stay there too long. Just acknowledge. That's awareness of. Click, this is experience of. Click, that's awareness of. Click, now, uh, oh, this is a fuller experience of. The percentage will change. After a while, awareness is one or two percent, and the experience is 98 percent. It, it, it does change. It can reverse. You just play with it. Play with it. Okay? Uh, so, uh, say you're doing something repetitive like swinging a boat can. Uh, you could use something like that, I guess. Okay, I'm aware I'm swinging with minor in feeling. And next one, ah, there's a little more feeling of swinging. Okay, good, that's more experience. Now you're gonna be aware of something. Okay, that's all right. Now back to this, boom, a little more feeling. So you can use uh, something repetitive so you can check back and forth from aware to more experience till the experience percentage is much higher. That's all I can come up with right now. Is that okay? That's great, Sensei. This is Tom. We talked about this percentage game before, and I found it useful throughout the day. It's not something I do just um, in, in the dojo on practice, but also it's something I'm, I'm kind of weighing the percentages throughout the day for experience versus being aware. Yeah, people who play during the day with this stuff will move along much faster. Okay. I tried to tell, that's why I tell you stories. I, uh, so I told you about this stiffest guy I ever saw. Uh, I had a second floor dojo in Mountain View and this guy was older and stiff beyond belief. I was surprised he had made it up the flight of stairs to the dojo, he was that stiff. So he began to train. A few months goes by, I forget exactly, three months, less than six. And I see him one day walk across the mat. My God, he's, he's like a, a good showdown. He's across the mat. And oh my God, I said to him, what have you been doing? He was a mailman and on one mile of his route, not the whole route, that's too much, but one mile he would practice uh, centering, I believe. So he would be centered for that one mile, just constantly being centered, centered, delivering his mail. And after a while, he, he was just moving completely different because he was playing a game when he had a few extra minutes, okay? So yes, you wanna play off the mat. Okay? When you're sitting in a coffee shop, when you're allowed to <laughs> have coffee in a coffee shop, uh, sit and feel a little more settling. It won't interfere with your enjoyment of the coffee, but settle and feel yourself. Feel yourself. When it's time to stand, take a quick moment and click, click, floor support and stand. Okay. So I'm not asking for really more time. I'm saying while you're in the coffee shop, settle a bit. When you go to stand, take a moment and experience the stand. Uh, there's a million little things you can play during the day without adding more time to your, okay. You can fit them in. I used to do a lot of practice between, when I came back from Japan, needed some money, had to work in a factory, whatever we called them in those days. 
and I would practice a lot from my workstation to the uh, water fountain, my workstation to the bathroom. There was, I practiced a lot there, okay. Uh, my break time, 15 minutes, whatever it was. There was a lot of settling grounding that I did. So I, I, I used up those extra moments here or there, uh, and I practiced. So thank you, uh, Tom, that's cool, yeah. Uh, can I, if I may, share something from 50 years ago when I was probably in my fourth class with you. Uh, Alan had substituted the class before and I mentioned him and you said, well, the reason Alan moved along so quickly was because he caught that 90% of Aikido is just straightening and settling, which were the words in those days. That stayed with me for 50 years. I share it with everyone else. I think it was really a, a beautiful piece. Yeah, see, the experience of straightening, kind of like a centering practice, the experience of straightening and straightening settling and set and from that settled straightening. You see, he was doing a center settling grounding practice. And that was enough for him to be very good. He was my, my top guy. Uh, sad to see him leave the state back in the day, but he was my right hand there for some length of time. He was good, real good. Uh, we're heading towards finish up, I think. Yes, Sensei, we are. And uh, would you like to leave us with a last word or have you already told us your last word for today? Ah, it was a good place to finish, actually. Okay, uh, center is a good approach. There, there are more than one approach, okay? Uh, if you get better centered and then you want to check the body, you'll see it's more balanced. Better the center the better the body overall, okay? Vice versa, if you play with balance of the body, the left and the right, left side, right side, if you play with left and right, the center should start to show that it's there. Uh, anytime you get better balance, center should show better. When the center is doing better, this fullness balance should show better. Uh, the Base is also a basic approach. Uh, better the base, the better the system. So you're doing the potted plant theory, deeper, fuller. Better the base, better the system, fuller and fuller. Uh, so center, cool. Base, cool. I was thinking, we don't have time, of course, but I was thinking of doing some left-right practices and getting a little more into energy. We'll hold that off for another time. Uh, and watch out for the awareness, okay? It's really kind of a killer. Uh, the moving to an eye and then turning around to look is not the actual experience of the thing. You see the thing, but it's starting to be a mirror reflection. It's not the actual thing, okay? So very important that we kind of get clear on experience versus awareness of, okay? Center, good reference. Uh, base, good reference. There's other references. We could have played with chanting, making a sound. I don't know how that would work via this system that we're using. Uh, could use that form, could play with energy, the body. Uh, so there's different approaches, all based on the same creation that we're in. Okay? Mm -hmm.